We present on elastic geodesic grids and their planar to spatial deployment. In this paper, we propose a novel type of planar to spatial deployable structures that we call elastic grids. The principle behind our planar to curve deployment system is based on two families of elastic rods. If all members of a family are parallel and rigid, the kinematic linkage can move freely in the plane. However, a non-parallel layout produces a deadlock when trying to transform the boundary, since the inner members are too long. By allowing members to elastically deform, they buckle out of the plane. We use this feature to approximate doubly curved surfaces. Here we show how a simple elastic grid deforms when it is deployed. The input to our computational system is a surface patch. It is user specified on the target surface by geodesic curves between four corner points. The output of the system are compatible planar and spatial grids. Using the built-in mechanism, the planar grid can be deployed to the spatial grid. The spatial grid is composed of geodesics, approximating the target surface perfectly. Deployment of the kinematic system depends on one degree of freedom and bending. To characterize the shape of the surface and the planar patch, we create distance maps, which are shown here on the right. Note that the shape of the blue distance map depends on the shape of the planar patch. We intersect the distance maps to find suitable grid members. Their distribution is determined by the cladding function, shown here on the right. Note how the shape of the planar patch, shown on the left, influences the cladding function. The cladding function determines the distribution of members, in the planar and the spatial grid. We set constraints to prevent invalid cladding functions. After finding a minimum set of grid members to capture surface features well, we present a method to densify the grid. We propose a surface patch analysis and smoothing method that helps us to identify input surfaces that cannot be properly represented with an elastic grid. Having rotation-only connections makes it generally impossible to find a planar grid that approximates the surface well. We therefore allow a subset of the inner connections to slide, thus increasing the joint's abilities by two translational degrees of freedom. Our elastic grids can be easily assembled without applying any forces to the naturally straight rods. To evaluate the quality of the simulation results, we used a state-of-the-art laser scanning device to capture deployed elastic grids and analyze the produced point clouds. This point cloud was then compared to our physical models. We could verify in our experiments that there is an excellent agreement of the simulation and our models. In the following, we show some more of the results that were created using our framework. <laughs>